Hi. Hi, Bumblebee. Uh, hi again today. Happy Memorial Day. You doing anything special? I'm not. I'm just here doing eBay. I had planned on running out to Target and to Tractor Supply to pick some things up, but time got away from me. Uh, I had some things to do, and I got a late start because when I got up this morning, I had no Wi-Fi, and it was about an hour, almost two hours before the Wi-Fi came back on. I thought it was just my computer, but I did everything I'm supposed to do, and it wasn't working, so I just figured it's the... Uh, it's my internet company, so I just waited, and it finally came back on. <clears throat> so I got sort of a late start, but uh, I stayed and did everything I had to do. I did I did some photographing of the patriotic things, and uh, I will start uh, measuring those and getting them put on first. Now. Uh, what else was I going to tell you? Something. I did, I told you this yesterday. I found out about that caftan and about the uh, little bed jacket. I'm pretty sure I told you about that yesterday. Okay, uh, this week was a lot better than last week. This week I sold 18 items from eBay and one really good sale from Poshmark which surprises me always when I get a Poshmark sale because I'm nearly not doing anything on there much. In fact, I'm not even listing things on there right now. Before I list, I'd like to uh, get list perfectly back, but I haven't done that yet. So I was going to do it at the beginning of May, and I may do it at the beginning of June now. So... Uh, I don't know if my sister remembers I'm on on Sundays or not. Oh, you mentioned about uh, you thought we lost some people when I switched to Thursdays. Do you think I ought to switch back to Wednesdays? It's spaced more in the middle. And the only thing, I changed it because my sister... Uh, is busy on Wednesdays and can't uh, come, but sometimes she doesn't come anyway. So I'm going to ask her if she'd mind. <clears throat> she listens to it after the fact most of the time anyway. But we could try that. We could switch back to Wednesdays and see how that works out. Uh, yeah. There's hardly anybody ever here but you and me, Bumblebee, and my sister sometimes, and maybe one or two others that find us. I hate to keep switching back and forth, but I think I've been on Thursdays long enough that I'm not getting any people, so I don't know. Maybe it's the time. Maybe the time would be better, and there comes Estella. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Hi, Estella. Estella, let me ask you, is four o'clock a bad time? Would it be better like two o'clock? This is my time. I don't know where you live. Eastern Standard Time, I'm on a four. I could switch it to earlier, or I could do it in the evening, but um, I'm not great in the evening. <laughs> And I used to be on on Wednesdays instead of Thursdays. I don't know if Wednesdays would be better. I used to have more people on when I was on Wednesdays. I was just wondering. Just sort of taking a uh, what people think. So let me know what, the, what you think, Estella. But I'm just about to start. Uh, like I said, I sold 18 things on eBay this week and one good Poshmark sale. So let me share my screen. 
I won't be able to read the comments till after I get done sharing the screen. So when I come back, I will read them all. So feel free to comment. <clears throat> Okay. Okay, the first thing that I sold on last Sunday, that was the 23rd, right? Yes, last Sunday was this Calvin Klein um, men's shirt. It was a size 17 neck, which is pretty large, and 34, 35 sleeves. So it was a bigger shirt, but it was slim fit. And it has, um, I don't know, I'm not getting that little box here, but it's tiny little check. It's tiny little gray and white check. It doesn't, uh, you can't really see here. But uh, it sold for a best offer of $16.50. And I took that and it went to somebody in Crossroads, Texas. Remember all those Texas sales I had last week? Well, I continued on, on Sunday. I had, I've had a couple more Texas sales. It was funny. All these in a row all came from Texas, and they were all different cities and all different people. Strange. <laughs> but anyway, uh, they paid shipping, and then I pay a little less shipping because I get my labels through eBay. <laughs> okay next thing oh I could have shown it here see the little it's just little checks okay okay the next thing is a J. Crew essential tea this is just a t-shirt in an extra large it was new with tags in this sort of heather blue color and that sold for $17.50, a best offer that I took. And it went to R. Monk, New York. R. Monk, New York. And um, they paid shipping, and I paid almost a dollar less in shipping. So I made another dollar on that. Uh, then here's this. See, I knew I had a something with the name Boohoo. Uh, like you gave me yesterday something from that brand. This is a Boohoo mini skirt. They call this a bandage stretch on skirt. Um, uh, I think it's pretty ugly myself, but it's sold. It's destroyed, uh, all frayed and holes in it and everything. It was a size 10. It sold for $15, which was the... Uh, Pretty close to the asking price. I didn't have very much on it. It went to Kaufman, Texas, another Texas sale. And they paid shipping. I paid just a, uh, about 20 cents less in shipping. Not much of a difference there. Yeah, I went to another one to Texas. Here's a men's. I tried this white shirt on a black background instead of white because, you know, white certainly doesn't show up on on uh, white on white isn't isn't good so I put it on this black background using Photoshop uh, and it was by J crew as a button-up dress shirt in a medium and the style name was Crosby and it sold for $22 and I think that was the best offer that I accepted and they paid shipping. It went to New Orleans, Louisiana. New Orleans. New Orleans. I, they say it a little different. I don't know. No, New Orleans. I know it's not New Orleans. New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, yeah. So the next thing is a uh, this was a pretty sort of like a sweatshirt but it was it wasn't hardly worn at all it was a hoodie zipped down the front and it was by Morona which is a uh, 
Target brand, but Target does pretty good. All of Target's uh, brands. This was a plus size, which helped also. It was a 20-22 20, 20 women, women's uh, plus size. So uh, that went for $13.49. That was on sale for that much, and that's what it went for. Went to Pinellas Park, Florida. And they paid shipping. The next thing is a Chico's. This is size 2 which is, I think, like a large size. Two Chico's is a large. And that sold for a best offer of $14. I took that because uh, I don't know how long I've had it, but it's basically just a T-shirt, V-neck T-shirt. But it is by Chico's. But I must have been low on sales that day that I took a $14 offer, but... I did, it sold, and it's out of here. So, uh, yeah, it went to Durham, Durham, North Carolina. Next thing I sold was something of Judy's from those bags I'm getting from Judy. This is uh, by Notations. Uh, I forget where they sell that. Uh, it's not... It's not a, you know, high-end brand at all, as is none of um, the things that I've gotten are really high-end brands. But this one went to Santa Barbara, California, and it sold for $11.47, which was a sale price uh, that it was on. And it had three-quarter sleeves and striped. It was navy, navy and white striped little blouse uh, so that uh, whoops, I'm, on the wrong. I slipped. I'm sorry 16 no this I'm sorry scratch that price this did sell for the uh, sale price of $16 and 19 cents I had the right wrong sheet I was looking at this next thing is what was now, this next thing is the um, Poshmark sale I had. This is uh, St. John. It was a denim uh, pants suit. And it was a size 14, sort of a gray denim. And this sold, this was on, on there for $125, but... I hadn't really got much interest in this at all. So somebody offered me, I think they offered first $54 and I went, I countered back at 74 and that's what they, they accepted. So it sold for $74 and out of that 74, I made 59 and 20 cents, almost $60. So that was a good uh, Poshmark sale. Here is one of Judy's things also. Is uh, by Christine Alexander. And this was that one with beaded metal beads and some turquoise. This is a Western saddle. These are usually sold at shows, horse shows. And somebody bought this right away. For the asking price of $22.49, it was on 10% sale. And uh, that went to, to Pacific, Pacific something, California, Pacific PLSDS. Pacific, I don't know what that stands for. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, they paid shipping on that and uh, sold pretty quick. This is a Ralph Lauren new with tag sweater top with shirt insert. Uh, this shirt was connected to the sweater. It was a really fine knit sweater and it had the white cuffs uh, like there was a shirt underneath it. 
And this is by Lauren, Ralph Lauren and a medium. Uh, this was a really cute little uh, sweater. I put career on there and um, it sold for a best offer of $20, which I took. And it went to Aptos, California. The next thing is this uh, Brody Miles. I never heard of this. It was this little, just a little open lace cardigan like. It was all crocheted lace in white. And that sold for an offer of, oh, I sent out an offer of $11.77 on that. And they accepted it and it went to Perry, Florida. <clears throat> then another lacy thing, and this I've had for a long time. This is by Dulce, uh, by Dulce. It's a crocheted top. It just uh, slips on over whatever you want, and it has fringe and uh, it's see-through. Lots of fringe on it, and that sold for twenty dollars and sixty-nine cents, the sale price. It was white and it was size small. I was surprised this took so long to sell, but it did. I've had this for quite a while. The next thing is this Torrid Knit Top Women's 1X. It seems to me this came from Bumblebee, but I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure. It was uh, 1X in this uh, gray with the purple sleeves, like a baseball style shirt. And that sold for uh, $20.69, which was the sale price, sale asking price. And this went to Lacey, Washington, way out to Washington. <clears throat> Then I sold a pair of Torrid jeans, size 12, regular. These are cotton and spandex. They're real stretchy. And they had the two-button waist there. That's sort of a blurry picture, isn't it? Wow. Uh, I'm surprised I didn't catch that. Um, yeah, that sold for a best offer $30, which I took. And it went to Loft. Lafayette, uh, California, and they paid pr priority shipping to get it out there. And here's something else up from Judy's uh, bags. Uh, Ellie Tahari, this was a fashion moto jacket. Uh, it was more like a top. It wasn't, it looks like it would be heavy, like suede or something. It's just suede cloth. It's like just a top. But really cute, and there wasn't anything wrong with it at all. It was a size extra large. It had that slanted zipper and the zipper pockets on it, and that sold for $24.29, which was the sale price, and they paid shipping, and it went to Jeffer Jeffersonville, Indiana. And this pair of pants was Judy's husband's, Tim's, by Saban, or Sab, Saban it must be, casual jeans. These were all of colored in like a brushed denim. And <clears throat> uh, they sold for $17.99, which was the sale price, regular price. And they went to Jefferson, Maine, and uh, had straight leg and a flat front on there. And the next thing is something also of Judy's, this sequin top. This was like almost uh, almost like a tunic length. It was it was uh, sequins both front and back. A lot of tops are just sequined on the front, but this was all over, all over sequins. This was beautiful. And it looked, it was in perfect condition. It looked hardly worn at all, which it probably wasn't. 
And that sold for the sale price of $24.29. And that went to Pleasant Hill, California. So a lot of California sales uh, this week. Then here is a top, a cold shoulder top uh, by Flying Tomato. I put boho and floral and uh, cold shoulder on there. And it sold for, oh, $17.77, which I sent out an offer for that. And, and somebody bought it. And it went to Austin, Texas. And out to Texas again. And the last thing yesterday I sold was this pair of Gary Player golf shorts. Uh, they did have pleats in the front. This is, I've had these a long time because I no longer ever put things on this purple uh, rug type thing. So I know I've had them quite a while. And, but they finally sold for, I uh, sent an offer out on them for $16.77 and that's what they sold for. And guess where they went? Pimacula, California. So I obviously just sell mostly to California and Texas. I don't know. It's so strange. So that is what I sold this week. It's quite a bit better than last week. Now, I also sold some uh, eyeliner, which... I must have forgotten to put it up uh, on here, but I did sell, sell, remember when I got that batch of uh, makeup, I sold, uh, it was a lot of two, waterproof uh, liquid eyeliner in a aqua color, it's by L'Oreal, and that sold for eleven forty seven. It goes free shipping, and I had to pay $3.49 that went to also to Santa Barbara, California. I forgot to put the tab up there. So I don't know what happened with that. But anyway, let me find my way back here. <clears throat> huh. Stop screen sharing. Okay. But for a minute, I wasn't going to find my way back. Okay, now I'll read my comments here. Sometimes it gets busy here in the one to three hour. Okay, yeah. I'm usually busy during that time, too. If I'm going to go someplace, I hate to have to get back that early. Uh, you think Wednesday's better than Thursdays? Okay. I try to get here as close to three. That's your time three, four, my time as I can, but often have to drop one of my kids at work. Uh, and Estella, it just depends on her schedule. Hi, Sue. <laughs> uh, Tomecula. That must be how you pronounce something. I, I miss. I mispronounced Tomecula. Tomecula. <clears throat> Undercover yard sale. Hi. Yeah, that's what I sold. Eighteen items from eBay and one from Poshmark. So. Are any of you doing anything special for the holidays? It rained up until today. It's sunny today, but it's still really breezy here and still cold. They say it's going to reach 70, but it feels cold because of the wind. So we didn't do anything. We, me. <laughs> I just worked on eBay most of the day. And... Uh, it's just been me and Dexter. Dexter doesn't feel real good today. I'm hoping he feels better this this evening. 
Uh, he didn't even eat his breakfast. He finally, I gave him something different, like at lunchtime, and he finally ate something. Uh, but he's just laying around, not feeling very good today. I hate these bad days that he has. Uh, did Linda and Carl come? No, no, no. No, but they are going to come over because the kids are now out of school. And uh, so I talked to them last night and they are planning on coming over and they'll let me know uh, when. They want to come over before uh, the summer schedule starts for Ava's gymnastics practice. She goes every single day, Monday through Friday. So it'll probably be on the weekend. You just did yard work and listed some things. Yeah. I didn't even get out much except to let my chickens out. I didn't even do anything outside. Uh, yeah, I was going to let the chickens out in the yard, but then I would be in here and I couldn't keep an eye on them. Ever since one... Uh, a hawk got one. I'm sort of afraid to be away from where I can see them too much and let them out in the wide open yard. Although the leaves are now out on the big oak tree, so they have a little more cover than they had earlier in the spring. But, uh, yeah. I could let them out now because there certainly is enough daylight. I didn't close up the chickens yesterday till nine o'clock and it was still light. It was, I mean, dusk, but it was still, so it's light a long time now, which is really nice. No, they didn't come over, Sue, but uh, I'm sure my grandkids will look altogether different to me. I'll try to forward a picture that uh, Carl sent me. She, he sent me a couple graduation pictures from Ava from eighth grade. And then she's running track, or she did just the last couple months of school. She was doing track. So there's one of her running. She does, she did the short distance running and the ones over hurdles. So, yeah, there's one picture of her running. She looks so tall and so grown up now and so muscular. She's solid as a rock, uh, Linda says, because she's doing gymnastics constantly. So she's just a little athlete. Jack, on the other hand, likes to play video games. <laughs> He liked basketball, but he's not real enthused and not, uh, you know, really into it like uh, Ava is. Yeah, I'm going to watch a good movie tonight, too. I don't know what yet, but that's what I plan on doing. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to... Uh, Measure some things, get them ready to list tomorrow, and then I will, uh, tomorrow I have to go to Target and to Tractor Supply. I would like to go out to the barn and see how Echo is doing. Sue, I also, did you see the pictures of Echo's boo-boo that he got? His, his mysterious injury, or whatever it is or was. Uh, yeah, I had some decent sales this week. If I didn't, if you didn't see them, I'll send you pictures there too. The first pictures look very disturbing, but it's gone down to practically flat now, so it's not too bad. Yeah, but the vet came and looked and did some stuff and did an ultrasound and all this other stuff. So that little 
little thing that he probably got playing with the other horses cost me four hundred dollars. <laughs> Only what showed it, yeah. I'll show you what it, uh, I don't know if I showed you on my video the last when I was out there yesterday or the day before. It's flattened out quite a bit. But he's acting fine. He's he's fine. Who knows what happened? So I'm going to uh, close for now. Oh, Sue, we were talking about changing. Thursdays isn't working for a lot of people. And I know Wednesdays you do your job at Bingo. <laughs> but I may have to change back to Wednesdays. That's when I had the most people. And a lot of times you just listen to the re, you know, play anyway. Uh, I don't know. Would you be mad at me if I changed it to Wednesdays? Uh, yeah, it'll give you something to watch when you come, come home from bingo. Remember, I was getting eight, nine, sometimes more people on on Wednesdays, and Thursdays never, never took off. So I don't know. What do you think about that? Oh, I can't make my sister mad at me. <laughs> I keep, I keep, do your thing whenever you want. You can watch it. Yeah. I also thought about several times, because I'm running out of space, you know, I thought so many times if, if I could do it myself, which I can't, I would take down the iron bed, your bed, and you'd have to sleep in my bed. I mean, I'm sure that would be fine with you. <clears throat> but... Uh, Remember when we tried to get the mattress back up where it belonged? We couldn't. The two of us had such a hard time even doing that. So there's no way that I can do that myself. So unless somebody like my son would come and help me do that, that would give me quite a bit more space. So I don't know. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't do it myself. Carl would have to. Uh... And then what would I do with the mattress? It's easy just to lean the iron bed against the wall. The mattress would take up a lot more room against the wall. I mean, it's a box spring and a mattress. So I don't know if that would even be worth it because I have no place to put that. I'm afraid my living room is just going to turn into a full blast eBay room. Uh, anyway. So that probably won't get done. <clears throat> Bumblebee, you'd keep the bed for Sue. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I don't think it would make that much difference come to think of it now. Because a, the, the mattress and box spring alone would take up a lot of room. So I might as well just use the living room. I mean, it's not a living room anymore anyway. I basically live in my kitchen, dining room, and family room. As far as regular living. <laughs> so... And up, uh, upstairs in my bedroom. You think you could work some magic in the back narrow room? It's pretty much all shelves on one wall. It's quite narrow. And then all bins on the other wall. And then at the end is the shoe racks. And then the closet is at the other end. 
which I did find that big clothes pole. So that has room, some hanging room. But other than that, I don't think there's anything much more I can do with that. Anyway, I'm going to close for now. I had a new cleaning girl. She was really good come, when was it? Last week sometime. Cleaned my whole house. Took her six hours. <laughs> it, was in, it was in poor shape. I mean, I hadn't had somebody cleaning good in here for quite a while. Uh your mom likes to have a guest bed in case she would need someone to stay with her. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> Creative magic. It would have to be magic. But this girl says that she enjoys doing decluttering and uh, organizing. So... We were talking, this wouldn't uh, be connected to the company, so just be her, I think. Uh, her coming in between, because every other week is cleaning, and in between, she could maybe come for a few weeks and help me organize and declutter. Not so much that she's going to have any big new ideas, but she... There's a lot of things I need help moving. You know, I need two people. And that's why things don't get done. I still haven't put the clothes rack together. I did look at the instructions. I'm telling you, it'll only take me 10 minutes if I sit down and do it. But I just haven't yet. Uh, I don't know whether to put it together down here and keep it in the living room because I don't know where I'd put it upstairs now so I want to put it together where it's going to stay so I don't kill myself trying to take it down the steps see put her brain to work on organizing inventory yeah she can be with you when I can. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, I liked her. She was a really nice girl. She has a couple little kids. So, I'm going to close for now and uh, I'm going to try to be back on Wednesday. So make a note. I'm gonna we'll try Wednesdays. I'm gonna put a big note here for myself. Wednesdays at four. Okay, is that good? <clears throat> I'll change the writings on my calendar out there because I have have written on Thursdays. So I will be back on Wednesday. See how far I've got gotten with the uh, patriotic things listing uh, so I hope these sales keep going and going and going and say a little prayer for Dexter please and uh, my teeth are getting a little better <laughs> And I will see you all on Wednesday. So bye.